Well, hello. Hi, guys. Love seeing you guys live and the hellos. Welcome and welcome to the new year. That's so right. Happy New Year officially <laughs> to everyone. Here we are. Yeah. We're glad to be back. We were just saying, you know, the last time we were in here pretty much was our Christmas event. Right. So it's and good to in the traditional news. So exactly. we haven't done like our normal <laughs> news for quite a bit. So yeah, it feels great to be together again and live here on the network. And of course, again, always listening to your guys' participation. So for sure. Yeah. So as we are here yes. in January 6th, oh, 2022, the dates. Oh, off on there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Starting off on a week. No, <laughs> no. Um, but we are looking at a year of calling, which we talked about that in our Christmas event and even looked at, you know, President Henry shared on the calling of Mary and That's what right. that looked like. And so what we have been starting with in the news is congratulating our graduates. And we highlighted here the callings that they share. Yeah, so it's kind of cool within their exit papers or profiles. For sure. For sure. And yeah, I encourage you guys to kind of read more about, you know, their full testimony on these posts on the network. But we have Laura with her associate of divinity. <clears throat> and, you know, in her testimony, she talks about how from when she was really young, she felt called to church leadership. I love that. So very love cool. That yeah. Age. Definitely. And then Solomon with his Bachelor of Divinity, um, you know, and his calling is to preaching the word of God and, you know, how he's praying that this degree will open the door for to. Full, yeah, yeah, pastoral position. Yeah. That's so, so exciting. We stand with you in prayer for that, too. And then <clears throat> Josh Hurley with his Associate of Divinity. Um, you know, he's called to theology and it's really cool in his testimony to just read about how once he saw those theology courses, it just really resonated with him. And, and like the college. Said, yeah, yeah the, 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 that's really cool. Like, that here he flipped. is at his associate. That's right. awesome. And then Griffin um, with their associate of divinity um, and feeling called to, you know, teaching and advancing the yeah, kingdom. That's awesome. So praise the Lord for that. And we have more. That's which right. is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we have Jaden um, with his associate of Christian leadership. Um, and his calling is, you know, with the youth and the children is in so his cool. community. So very awesome and a unique call there. And then Bright with his Bachelor of Divinity. Um, you know, since then I've been striving to follow the calling that has been placed on my life to speak life to the youth and children. And then Naomi, she is our director. Yes, so I want to give program. a special shout out to Naomi yeah. um, in just the sense of it has been so exciting to see her stick with that goal um, and been able to talk with her many times about that. And I know it was for her, she really wanted to get it before Christmas, which she did do. So that was awesome. But again, I just praise God for the hard work that Naomi pours into not only did she pour into her studies, but she is pouring every single day and now for multiple years into our French speaking students and leading the team of, um, you know, Brian and Emerald and Orland. And so it's, it's just been a huge blessing to see um, her leadership and also this huge accomplishment yeah, here at Christian sure. Leaders. One of our own. It's Ooh. very exciting. So on that, you know, it's speaking yes, of calling, the we're college, in the college. And, and yeah. might be a part of your calling to pursue the college. And the new year is a really, really good time to start with it for a lot of reasons. The first one being, you know, we get into the new year and there is that kind of uh, the resolutions and the new life. And maybe maybe your calling has intensified and in some of the desires that you might have in maybe being credentialed to serve and maybe in a pastoral position, like us, Solomon said. Right. Um, but also it's a good time because we have sales. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So very exciting. 50 percent off college admission. So that is a very large discount. It's one of a kind. And like you said, starting off the new year on a strong note, this is a great kind of commitment and pathway yes, to yes. move forward with that degree. So you can use the code on the screen right there. We will have the link to pay that um, in the comments mm -hmm. and linked below. Looks like yep, Mitch just put, put it in, in the, the comments. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we really encourage you to consider this as the next step in your calling um, to begin your college journey. And we'll kind of be diving in more in, in future weeks right. about how that what relates to calling like. and the different programs mm -hmm. we have and mm -hmm. even the process 
Um, but yeah, this is an amazing time to, again, not only start out your year if you feel led to be in the college, but also, you know, it helps you take the next step potentially in your calling and in kind of the accountability that even a degree program could bring for you in your studies. A hundred percent. I love that. So we also have an exciting yeah, announcement of a new course and it is Introduction to Statistics, um, a three credit course. And this is by Professor Eric Labar and he has been amazing to work with. And it's pretty cool because we actually got connected because he was pursuing um, a license as a wedding officiant through oh, CLIs. Awesome. So that's yeah, how he kind cool. of came to our attention. And yeah, this course um, is not strictly a math course. So I think that's always kind of an encouragement for those of us who may feel a bit of an aversion to a heavy math course. Um, but it's really about um, learning and understanding the world from patterns in data. And it's really an emphasis, you know, beyond the formula and not really heavily, heavily relying on those mathematical skills. So thinking critically, being skeptical, thinking about spread and variation in data, um, and thinking about how to make inferences. So if this sounds of interest to you, I highly encourage you to check yes. it out. It's a great yeah. course and he's a very engaging professor. So we'll, we're excited to see what yeah. comes of this. Uh, it's exciting to again, start out the year with a new course like that. And um, yeah, it, it, I know we've talked about it for a while and I've been really looking forward to this statistic one being Definitely. available. And again, over here in the comments for those of you We've got quite a few links for the college, including thanks, Brianna, for linking the college admissions course, as well as, um, you know, you can chat with actually my husband, Mitch, if you're, you know, kind of having some questions about how it might fit with your calling. For so, sure. and there'll be links for this if you're watching this on YouTube or another place Definitely. or on the dashboard um, for you to kind of get a hold of what we're talking about here. Yeah, so as we kind of ended the last mini course we were doing live on the right. news, we kind of pulled you guys about what are some of the potential yeah. topics. Like to see us do. Yeah, and I think this this topic connects really well, um, not only with kind of the spiritual nature of the course we were doing before, but also with the idea of discerning your calling. Right. What is a calling? What yes. does that look like? So the next mini course we'll be doing live is spiritual gifts. Yes, <laughs> and and yeah, you said it super well that it relates really well with the calling, which we're even going to talk about in a second. But what we love about spiritual gifts is it is so integrated into our calling and who we are, who God's created each of us to be and the personality. And again, just the qualities that he's given to us and those around us. And we're going to dig into all of that in the spiritual um, gifts course. And so, yeah, we're going to be doing it live on the news and we're excited to kind of dig in. So let's start with reading 1 Corinthians 12, 1 and verse 4 through 7. Now about the gifts of the spirits, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everything, it is the same God at work. Now to each one, the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good. So there's a few things I love about this verse. Mm -hmm. The first thing being that we're excited to do this course because it is important to be informed about the spiritual right. gifts. And that's the first point of this um, verse. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, starts to talk about it. We are given each different gifts, but it is all from the Holy Spirit and from God. Mm -hmm. And um, and we're also given this to uh, benefit the common good, both our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, but even the world. I mean, sure. it's, it's a gift that's given to us and uh, it's just exciting to kind of see that verse. And that's one of the big ones that people do think of when we talk about what is spiritual gifts. Definitely. So going more kind of into what the definition might be, this verse does give a pretty good definition and kind of idea of their place. Um, but the Bible does not explicitly define it, but we do know that spiritual gifts are given or imparted by uh, the Holy Spirit. They're really specific to those who have received salvation, which this kind of helped me contextualize how right, it's different they're than different from yeah, right. your skills skill or, or talents or things that you can kind of develop on your own, maybe. Um, they're given, like that verse said, to benefit the body of Christ and you know the kingdom as a whole. And they're given according to God's grace and discernment, which is really, you know, important. Right. It's, it's not up to us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're a, a special divine empowerment. Like I said, you know, it's different from maybe like worldly talent or skill. And but I think it that is, is an important divine. thing to define because mm -hmm. you, you know, we might be naturally talented at maybe public speaking, let's say, for example. But that doesn't necessarily mean just because you've always 
been good at something like I love that just again that emphasis on this is given from this spirit and it's given as a part of being a believer in Jesus Christ sure. and the power of his resurrection yeah and I do think that they connect in some ways right. a lot right. of times but just to distinguish like how the world might see it versus you know how the Bible how we need to understand it, it. Right. yeah so how do spiritual gifts connect with ministry and calling and I think that is what really is connecting it back to you know this this overall theme maybe but Romans 11 verse 29 says, for the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. So not only are spiritual gifts divine, they're deeply tied to our calling and they right. equip us to serve and fulfill our calling. And I like, you know, the word irrevocable, it's kind of strong. I love the intensity but, of yeah, it yeah. I think it kind of gives us, you know, the air to which we have to address these that, you know, what God gives us is what it is intended for us. And it's right. kind of what I love lays that point again, purpose. he discerns yeah. what is the gifts and the call that is in each of our lives. And, mm -hmm. and I love that again, how closely tied they are and mm -hmm. just the seriousness of it. This is a serious thing from God. And it, it's, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's, it also kind of connects with that each of our gifts and callings and the ways that we're called to use them are unique because they all kind of fit together in this puzzle, which we'll dive right. into later. But yeah, it's cool that they're unique because that's how we, that's how we know that they were made right for each of us right. and that God right. discerned it in that way. And then 2 Timothy 1, 1 through 6, um, for this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. So some people think this is about salvation. Some people think this is about maybe more spiritual gifts, which I think they do kind of connect right. together, right? But yeah, just the stirring up the gifts that God has given you can really right. help you not only in your walk, but in kind of discerning what God's plan for your life is and what you're calling maybe. Yeah. No, so there's a lot of connection there. And again, we'll keep digging into that as we continue in this course. Um, furthermore, spiritual gifts help connect us to the body of Christ and the greater kingdom. And that's come up in that verse of for the common good. Mm -hmm. And again, talking about that as we're feeling a call in our life for God, from God, where it is going to make a difference in the body of Christ. And like you said, that kind of puzzle of us all fitting in where God has discerned our gifts and our calling to be. Mm -hmm. And so discerning and developing your gifts definitely goes hand in hand with your ministry calling. And when your calling and gifts are aligned, um, you are going to be effective and a living testimony for God. And, and we even saw that with um, the graduates that we see at the college and, and all of you that are signing up and taking these courses. It's it's amazing to see how God is working those gifts and that calling and aligning that and making you such a testimony for his kingdom. Absolutely. So that's kind of the first overarching definition, the introduction to the right. course. Um, and we have some reflection questions to kind of discuss. We'd love to see you guys engage in the comments if you're Absolutely. able. Um, so how can learning about spiritual gifts draw you closer to the Lord? And I think a lot of what we touched on kind of connects to this, but I think it's cool to kind of think about it personally. You know, what are you right. looking to get out of your relationship? You know, starting off the year strong, maybe you're kind of turning introspectively and thinking about this. So we encourage you to think about how, you know, your spiritual gifts can connect with that journey. And I think with how, you know, the Holy Spirit is such a huge part of the spiritual gifts. And so mm -hmm. the more we draw closer to the spirit, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the more we'll see the fruit of those spiritual gifts that have been given to us. Yeah, definitely. And even connecting back to the spiritual disciplines, I think that those can kind of go hand in hand in helping you discern or harness your spiritual gifts. And, you know, those are all ways in which we can draw closer to the Lord. So they all, they Absolutely. all go hand in hand. <laughs> Another question is, you know, what are the ways in which the spiritual gifts connect with God's vision for your life? And we've been talking about that, the calling and how it connects. And so mm -hmm. just even thinking before we dive into, you know, what are the different spiritual gifts and mm -hmm. a little more into even the theology of it, you know, what's that vision that um, you feel God has for your life and that calling and what gifts do you feel right now that you do have? And I think mm -hmm. that's kind of a, as we go in deeper into this course, I think that's a really good thing to kind of consider and even uh, write down in this reflective um, questions. For sure. And then lastly, just kind of what do you hope to gain from this mini course and this journey that we're on together um, related to spiritual gifts? You know, maybe what might your learning goals be? What might your personal goals be related to this? I think, again, just writing that down or thinking yeah. about what your yeah. intention um, might be with this can be really helpful. Um, and, you know, we'd love to hear your feedback on maybe what questions you're looking to get answered, right. what topics yeah. more specifically you'd like us to touch mm -hmm. on with this. Any feedback would 
be happily welcomed. Absolutely. I mean, I think even for myself, mm -hmm. I've you know done some gift assessments and even our volunteers, that's one of the important things is to look at the gift assessment and, and you know get you serving in a volunteer role that really aligns with your gifts. So I remember when I started that with Florence, we I did the assessment again. Mm -hmm. So I've done some gift assessment, but I think it's a, also important to just keep assessing that as you continue to grow in your relationship with Christ, in your journey and, you know, discerning your calling. And so even myself personally, I'm kind of excited to re-look at, you know, the gifts and even yeah. the theology behind it and the, the discernment of others' gifts and how we work together in it. So there's a lot that I'm excited to even gain myself from this course. For sure. Yeah, I'm excited as well. And I think, you know, I feel like I have a rough idea maybe of what mine are. I've taken an assessment in the past, like you said, but I think it's always good to be evaluating kind of how you're using those gifts too, because there are so many different ways, even if you feel, okay, these are my two gifts. There's so many different ways in which you can kind of harness that and apply it in different areas of ministry and different areas of your life. So I'm excited to kind of reconsider that in my own personal journey as well. Yeah. And so I just want to, I just want to pray for each of us as we start this this um, mini course on spiritual gifts and as you're reflecting and maybe writing some things down. Dear Lord, we're just grateful for that. Your Holy Spirit gives us gifts and you have discerned for us, Lord, the unique calling and gifts that um, you see fit. And, and we're just humbled by that. And it is, it is such a blessing that the body of Christ has been given these gifts and they work together for the advancement of your kingdom. And so as we dig into this um, spiritual gifts mini course, we pray for your guidance your Holy Spirit to be very close to us and um, yeah, your, your wisdom, Lord. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> I'd be like, you have okay. to do this. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so this is in honor of our president who is actually on a cruise right mm, now. So <laughs> jealous. <laughs> yes, I was getting photos today of beautiful um fish of course my parents look amazing and they're having a great time so but awesome. what vegetable isn't allowed on cruise ships can you get this one at me i don't know i didn't realize they were discriminating <laughs> yeah there's some vegetable. discrimination going on in oh the man let me think oh i don't know like it has to be something water related like mm -hmm. i don't know the only vegetable i can think of that's water related is like a water chestnut but that seems like way too right specific. there's a little specific. all right okay right. okay okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh leaks oh, we go to the next one. Leaks. i like the picture demonstration <laughs> just so we all know Good one. One. <laughs> no leaks on the cruise ship Fair we enough. do not want that absolutely not no leaks allowed <laughs> oh i like this one though uh adam put iceberg lettuce oh <laughs> that is good one nice that's great oh very awesome. creative <laughs> All right. So as we kind of wind down this new session, the first one of the year, um, we just wanted to share a closing encouragement from 2 Timothy 1, um, verse 8b through 10, which says, rather join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we've done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Kind of a powerhouse of a verse. And I like that, you know, as we just were thinking about Christmas, you know, this kind of touches on, you know, Christ mm -hmm. coming to earth to destroy death and ultimately give us this amazing hope and light. And so this one really connects back to, you know, calling to that. It's right. not anything that we've done or even deserve, but it's it's all through his grace, his grace and his love for us. And I even love that he saved us and called us to a holy life. Right. And um, yeah, it, it, it's beautiful. And as we go into this new year, again, that that's why we do everything we do is because of Jesus Christ's love for us. And as we go into this mini course and all these things, it's, it's again, it's all because of the truth of the gospel and the mm -hmm. light of the gospel. And so thank you guys for tuning in today. A happy new year and uh, God bless each of you. And we look forward to what 2023 has in store for you and your calling, as well as Christian leaders and all uh, that we do. God bless you.